everyone. It's up North Collectors here. We're opening up 2020 Top Series 1 Retail. We have a variety of products in front of you. We have a blaster box, two of these blister packs that are from Meyer. They're exclusive to Meyer. I have purple parallels in them. And we have two of the fat packs and one hanger box. So we're going to get into this. Uh, this is uh, pretty good stuff. We've opened up some off camera. It's been pretty decent. And speaking of cameras, we haven't posted a video in a few days because our webcam pooped out on us uh, a couple days ago. So we're using the phone here. We bought a new camera. The camera hasn't worked out. So it's been a little trouble for our YouTube uh, channel. Yeah, we've been struggling. And it's kind of weird because all of a sudden we plugged in and it just didn't want to work. It was just shot. Um, yeah. The last was like three years. is like a $30 camera. So I'm not going to complain, but... Actually, Still. it's more like fifty, but let's not argue about that. It was it served its it purpose served its well. purpose. It lasted a long time. Hundreds of videos, um, and I here think we are. A thousand videos, actually. So. Oh, and speaking of thousands, hey, thanks to everybody. We got over nine thousand subs. We'll be doing a giveaway. I have an idea for it, uh, and we want to get to ten thousand. So. Uh, keep subscribing. Keep subscribing. Bear with our setup here we hope to resolve it and get back to the old ways with our good microphone i mean the audio on this is probably not going to be that great um but the video quality should be halfway decent yeah it should be okay i don't know it is on like a, it's an auto focus so i'm not sure that'll be here trying to get this stuff out without damaging anything there we go these are the blister packs these will run you 350 at meyer Start the pack first. 16 cards in here. If you guys want to look at the odds, I'll show you guys those real quick. All right. Let me go ahead and see what we get out of here. These things actually are not bad, these little packs. You can actually hit, like, gold and stuff out of them, which is cool. Um, Toro, Mondesi, Urena, Scott Kingery. That's a cool picture. Yeah, I like that. Tanaka, um, Ian Desmond. We've got a Joey Lucchesi, um, Candelero. There's a nice McKay rookie. Marsnick. Oh, oh cool. We go. got a Chrome. That's sweet. Um, that's going to be a Puig. Puig. Yeah. Yes, yeah, Puig. Um, so those are pretty cool. That's actually a really dark card. Yeah, it is really like, dark. It looks really dark on camera, too, but it, in person it looks like really dark. Yeah. Um, interesting. And it's not the lighting. It's the actual card. Because I couldn't even tell who it was. It was so dark. I know. I was like, I don't know. You know who that is. Uh, Netto the Purples. You get two in here. Um, Josh Fegley and Tommy Edmond. Tommy Edmond, one of the hot rookies at the end of the season there for the Cardinals. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and open up one of these hanger packs here as well. Um, we'll see what we get out of here. We've done really well out of these hanger packs. Really Highly well. recommend picking these up. Uh, we, you know, they're five fifty, and it seems like the amount of stuff coming out of these is really good. Kind of unmatched by that's actually kind of a cool picture, but unmatched by um, any other retail that we've opened so far. We've opened, I don't know, quite a few hanger packs, probably like twenty five already at least. Yeah. Um, and they've been, each one really, there hasn't really been a bad one yet. They all have something. Yeah, in they them. all have something in them. Definitely a good bit. Like, be, like a, I mean, this is yeah. gonna be, like, this is just a rainbow foil, right. but still it's a rainbow foil, and it could be a rookie or something good. Like, we already got a, um, a Quino out of one of these, which is cool. Yep. There's a Robles. And, okay. and you get a t couple of the turkey red, and then you get a chance at hitting any of the rookies out of the pack. So, I don't know, for us right now, it seems to be the best value in retail yeah and the um we actually hit like a kershaw green chrome turkey right out one of these to 10 which is yeah. pretty sweet i mean ten, pull yeah. anything number to 10 out of series one's impossible pretty much let's go back to the purple pack then we'll do one more of those value packs then we'll get out the blaster box and the hanger box so let's take a look at these purple cards first here we got green shane green Former Tiger and Blake Parker for the Phillies. Shout out to our friends Westergriff and Mike O. Check out their channels, big Philly guys. All right, so 
A little different setup with the... You gotta, I, you gotta move your cards more centered. There you go. There you go. Sorry about that. We are trying to figure out the setup here. Just not used to it. We've made yeah. so many videos. The and other we, way. we don't funny. usually look through the... Uh, the camera we're usually looking at a screen on our computer so it's a little different but it's all good there is a 1985 reese hoskins yeah it kind of stinks when it pooped out too because it would have been nice if it pooped out like two weeks before series one came out or something yeah because <laughs> this is a huge release week and then um this this week now too there's gonna be optic basketball coming out so yeah if uh yeah we're gonna try to get our hands on that if possible which that's a big if because i think it'll be possible yeah retail will be if you find prism you'll find optic oh speaking of prism basketball i know we're doing a baseball break but we found four um of the blaster boxes there at a walmart so that was pretty yeah, awesome like of there, so. Prism Basketball. So, oh, look at they're looking at their checklist there or something. That's usually their batting order. Batting order. So my baseball coach always had a batting order. Oh, here's another. Chrome. Wow, another Chrome. This is a Torres sweet. A Glaber. So you can see our ugly faces in the back and our phone there. Um, George Springer. Schwaba and a Mancata. Schwaba. It's like the hard Boston. We used to live in New England, so we know a bunch of people that talk like that. Yeah, so somebody like, commented on our channel. They asked if we were from, like, New England, Rhode Island. And um, other people say, oh, you guys have a distinct Midwest accent. Um, I would dare say um, it would be way more Midwest, in my opinion, than anything close I to I think if anybody New has England. New England, it would be me. Yeah. You. Uh, yeah, exactly. I've heard people talk about the way that I say card before <laughs> multiple times, and I think that card. might be something. Say it, card. Card. Smart pack. Commercial on the Super Bowl. Smart pack. Yeah, where, where we lived in New Hampshire, it wasn't as pronounced no. uh, as Boston, uh, but there were a lot of the R's that were... Uh, yeah, the really hard yeah, R's. Yeah, really hard R's, yep. It's like card. Um, just... Really, really hard R. So here's your hanger box. Quick show you again what you get in here. Not what you get, but the odds. 67 cards, packs with a special insert main contain 60 to 65. So retail's actually been really solid this year for sure. Um, definitely better than it has been a while ago. It looks like there's actually a relic in here. Yep. Cool. Um, so well, I think see. I think Tops has stepped up the retail game the last two or three years, actually. I would agree. I think last year we did really well out of retail. And, and even um, 18, we got like a Soto yep. Independence Day out of like a hanger. Like we got some good stuff out of 18, retail. 18, 19, and 20. I mean, we pulled we pulled some nice stuff this year out of this. And, and we haven't spent like, you know, a gazillion dollars on it to, to do it. So. And, and once again, we were talking about this a lot with Filmington the other night. But I think that's mostly due to the fact that the parallels are now really sought after as beforehand that was not the case. And so right. there's just not, like, in retail now you're kind of just chasing parallels. Here's our relic. Let's kind of show the back. Jose Barrios, Major League Material. We seem to have a thing with getting pitcher relics. Yeah, like that this year. Yep. Um, game use, so pretty cool. You had a good year last year. Just to get a relic out of there, not bad. Um, Gavin Lux rookie, decades that's next. That's not bad. Sweet. Well, that's cool. It's a Vlad. 85, Anthony Rendon, Buster Posey, Bruce Hoskins, Aaron Judge, and back to some more base here. Conforto. I think you get four of the turkey reds in each one of these hanger boxes. It would seem like that because we did just get four. And yep. I think before when we opened them too, you got four. So If you are trying to collect that set, this would be a good way to, to go about it because they're retail exclusives, the turkey red. And obviously, chance at parallels, although they're very hard to pull. But um, the chromes are cool looking. If you haven't seen them in person, they're they're beautiful cards. Um, I think a really good addition this year to to retail. I think it's interesting, yeah, for sure. Um, it is actually a pretty big set. It's a hundred cards, 
Um, but I'd say it's definitely a, an improvement as, like, last year, I think they had, like, those, like, weird, like, Jeter in I didn't even remember what yeah, they were. Yeah, it wasn't anything. It was something dumb. Uh, you'd get them and you'd be like... Oh. Because you don't remember them means that it wasn't that memorable, Yeah, exactly. Obviously. Like, I'll remember these turkey red cards. We'll save that uh, relic to the end because those are actually pretty cool this year, too. Yeah, There's they... a checklist for that, too, if you want to see it. Yeah, I mean, so. we, we're not sponsored by Tops. We're not paid by Tops. And so anything we say about these products is strictly our opinion, uh, not, um, you know, swayed not one way or the other. And uh, I would say they've done a really good job with this set and making improvements. You may not like the design. You may not like how the parallels look, but uh, and we don't mind the design. The parallels are, you know, not as great uh, if, on some of them for sure. But the way they went about making some improvements is pretty good. And once again, I think the chrome will actually look really sweet in this. Yeah. Um, purely because my thought process behind that is there's a lot of room to sign a nice auto. Like, they'll look cool. Yep. Yep. And the parallels in the chrome will just look better than the paper parallels. So, should definitely be interesting. We'll see. Chrome will be fun. I hope chrome, I doubt it will get better this year, but eventually. Yeah, it's so watered down last two years. Yeah, it's been tough. Like, 17 was kind of the last, like, pretty decent year. That die cut's, like, destroyed. Oh, man, look at that. I don't know how that happened. But, like, wow. It is just, yeah. I can, like, that doesn't surprise me necessarily, though, because there's right. a die cut, and these things do kind of get destroyed kind of easily. Um, Oops. Just because it's just what happens, so. J.D. Martinez. I don't think we've hit a uh, Boba Shell or a Jordan yet. Or yeah, you're done. If, yeah, Sorry. yeah. If we have, we skipped right over it. I'm sure people will tell us if we have. But yeah, yeah we I haven't hit a lot. It. Of, we hit that Gavin Lux insert, but we haven't hit a lot of the big rookies. I don't think. Yeah, I've been paying pretty close attention to. I mean, I've seen these cards a lot, so I'm not going super slow through them. There's a home run challenge, Arenado. I actually, so I was curious. I was like, well, what do you actually get from those home run challenge cards? Um, and I don't know if this will be true this year, but the past two years, what they do is I'm not sure. I saw two different things. I'm not sure which year was which. But so if you guess, let's say you guess how the game works is you have to guess the day that the players hit the home run on. So let's say you guess Giancarlo Stan hits a home run on the 17th of April. If he actually does hit a home run, Tops at the end of the year, I think at the end of the year or soon after he hits a home run, will send you a Tops Now card numbered to how many people guessed it on that day. And so if you're the only person that guessed it, you get a one-of-one one Giancarlo Stan Tops Now card. That's pretty cool. If you were... If 100 people guessed it, you get a card number to 100. Um, that's just kind of how that works. I thought that was an interesting idea, actually, which is kind of cool. I can see those are a little bit desirable. Um, let it, Yeah, let us know in the comments below if you participate in the Home Run Challenge. Uh, shout out to our friend Jason Aaron Goldberg. Check out his channel. Does a lot of good rips on his, and he was asking us, are we going to do that this year? And I don't think we are. We're going to try to sell the cards, um, but we may try it. But if you've done it, let us know, and how have you done with it? The thing is, I don't think, besides like the home run derby trip, I don't think there is any other like prize with it besides There's that. a gold. Yeah. These are kind of hard to hit in retail. hobby or retail. Which is cool. Yeah. So... Rookie, I'm not even going to try to say his name. I know either. We give up. Tanaka. All right, so let's get into the last few packs. Uh, hand... It's funny how some of them are turned around right in the beginning like that. I have no idea how that works. It is rather strange. Anyway, going back to the rack packs, we actually hit a Independence Day, which are not, like, we've not pulled one of those out of, like, four jumbo boxes. Um, is that Brock hit, Holt anything? It might be. It looks weird. It looks weird. Let me see. Nope. No. Nope. base. Just a cool-looking base card. There's a nice one, Tatis. We pulled the Acuna. Luke kind of skipped over that one, but there's a Cunha. Um, we... Yeah, I was just kind of going through and talking. If I get busy talking. Sorry, go ahead and continue your 
thought. I can't remember what I was talking about now. Oh, rack packs, yeah. Yeah. We hit a Independence Day and a Vintage Stock, which are both, like, we haven't hit either of those. Like, it's hard to hit low-numbered parallels this year out of Jumbo or Hobby, um, which I thought was kind of interesting that we hit both those. Yeah. Like rack pack. And we hit, we, I've opened up some with my daughters, and we've hit some decent stuff out of retail. Um, not any big names, but some decent parallels like the vintage stock and some of the uh well what are those advanced stat cards yeah. which those aren't that great but i kind of still wish parallel if you know about these like these are some probably in our opinion some of the coolest looking tops parallels but the snow camo tops parallels oh, i have old they should bring those back oh it's an I angel this is. This, is o- this is um otani nice Cool. That's cool. They, these, are, they do look sweet. Like, these look cool. They have this little medallion. Some of them are off, like the way they glued them. They're not quite centered. Um, but they're cool. They're all based on their rookie year. So the rookie design of you know that year when they were rookie, that tops design. So that's pretty cool. Sweet. There you go. So uh, that is a look at various retail products of 2000. 20 tops baseball uh, once again we had a blaster box a hanger box two of the fat packs and uh, two of the blister packs that we have at Meyer. so let us know what you think of the comments below how did we do how do you like the look of uh, these cards and how do you like retail have you opened it what have you pulled and give us some insight uh, more on that home run challenge uh, you know was luke's research right is there more to it than that we'd like to know let us know that was just what i saw from watching like four youtube videos i'm not saying it's totally accurate. right that's right just what i think right so. that's just uh that's a small sample size all right well thanks for watching guys take care have fun collecting we'll see you in the next break